Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for watching Geronimo Money. Today is April 8th, Friday, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a quick market update and then putting four projects that are super early that if you're able to get in, we feel bullish on in terms of the mint day. If you're not familiar with the term, mint day just means when the project launches and you can actually procure or purchase one of these NFTs. Before we go into the actual content, just wanna let you know, not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, always enter into the NFT space at your own risk and peril. So let's go and get right into this. And if you're familiar with the format of our videos, we always like to go over kind of macro and the relationship between kind of uh, different markets. And it's no secret that there's a relationship between stable coins and the crypto kind of uh, universe. And when crypto stable coins pump, they kind of go to altcoins and then altcoins goes to NFTs. And if you follow the money, I mean, it's definitely good to be diversified, but we're, we're positioning ourselves in the primary focus of the content is NFT, NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. And um, just going over the actual data and analytics that we're going over here, here in greed index, that's a litmus test in terms of investors. It's uh, an opportunity for buying opportunities or just an opportunity for you to kind of chill back and watch. So uh, ourselves, what we've been doing is just watching the market. Uh, we still feel like, I guess, big institutions are still liquidating off of retail investors and in crypto, um, which kind of pivots to our next segment, which is really going over the actual analytics for OpenSea um, and NFTs. So the actual volume for OpenSea has definitely hockey sticked top right, meaning that it is definitely increased in terms of A transactions and volume. Um, we're definitely past these kind of lulls here. And to be frank, I mean, we could definitely pivot back into that, but I don't think that will happen. And the thesis behind this is because of some of the market catalysts and more liquidity in the market. A, number one, uh, Board Ape Yacht Club dropped their actual Ape coin, and then they went on a huge run. After that, it was Azuki. Azuki had that awesome airdrop, and they also went on a huge, like 10 or 15 ETH run. And then after that, it was like a clash of the titans. Like all the blue chip projects were just running and gunning and just going and increasing their floor prices. And a lot of that money liquidated, liquidated to smaller projects. Some of it went out. So um, really the primary focus on this is just to reduce your exposure and then put these projects on your radar. And if they're able to execute, I mean, these will be really solid gains for you long-term or short-term. Um, awesome. So let's go and pivot to kind of our market sentiment, right? This, these are always cool to take a step back and look at the market in general. And if you're kind of watching this, uh, if you've been in kind of web two land or if you work for an enterprise, I mean, these are huge companies. I mean, CNBC just dropped this article today and uh, probably yesterday. And they said that eToro, that's another institution you can use for like crypto trading or investing. They uh, added $20 million in NFT funds so that anyone using that platform will be easier to procure or navigate through the actual website and get NFTs. Certain projects have uh, positioned themselves to be a part of this partnership. Uh, one of note is like Coinbase, right? Coinbase is also uh, kind of doing affiliate marketing or partnering with other communities so that when they drop their actual platform, it'll be easier and there will be more kind of a more of a competitive landscape against OpenSea and the secondary market and sales. So uh, the next article I want to share with you is iHeartRadio, right? Another Web2 company, um, you know, they've been really just rebuilding their brand or building their brand for the, the past kind of five or six years. And it's, they announced that The Breakfast Club and um, I guess other affiliates or other kind of people on their platform are entering into the NFT space and they're also doing their own NFT collections. So it could be a cash grab or based off of how they execute on this, they could just really drive up more engagement. So um, I'm really bullish on that. And the reason I'm really bullish on kind of where the market's pivoting to is because you see these companies and they're not only entering into the NFT space with their own collections, but they're also getting funds and getting things approved by their VCs and their board members to actually buy other NFT collections, right? So this here, uh, they're actually gonna be, uh, our heart radio is spending several hundred thousand dollars um, and that could be maybe one NFT or a couple, but they're going in and my speculation and thesis is they may be going in Discord, trying to get their stripes and pedigree and then you know, offering and trying to get more kind of solutions to how they actually execute their collections. So um, I said this in previous videos, you don't know if it's like a regular investor, kind of like us, kind of buying NFTs, or you don't know if it's actual company like MoonPay or iHeartRadio 
or you know like Levi's or Time Magazine buying NFTs from you. So that's where it gets really exciting about the space, and I think that's what draws a lot of investors. It's like art, game theory, and then just other companies and being early to this. So uh, we're just going to pivot to a project called I think it's called Murakai. This uh, collection looks really cool. Uh, the reason why this hit our radar is because of the team behind this um, and they don't actually have a discord dropped yet and we don't know what the roadmap is so it's still really early so that's what the risk is uh, for a lot of these because you're so early it is advantageous for anyone watching these videos to turn on notifications and follow them and get into their discord because based off of our market sentiment we feel that these could really take off based off of the teams behind them not only from the dev perspective from the team and mod perspective but also on marketing they have pedigree and let me show you exactly why so let's take a look at the art it looks really cool i get zelda vibes um and it's like really clean like i would play this game if i you know was able to was able to and their marketing approach is really cool i mean they don't have too many tweets and the reason why i'm really bullish on this is because of the person or the people behind it and the team so this person named Ox Beans, this is their Twitter handle. And basically in the actual tweet down below, they said, hey, you know what? Um, instead of doing like this kind of never finished roadmap, they released a tweet and they said, you know what? We're gonna release a game that's on chain that's already built out. So here's the tweet. Hey, we're not promising like the to be continued, like get our NFT project and then months later we'll drop the game. Speculative that they'll drop the game and the NFT collection at a somewhat palatable short time frame. And if we actually click on the actual user, the actual user was Coinbase engineer and he was part of a Builder Labs. So if you can think of like organic marketing and networking, Coinbase, right? You tell everybody, hey, I got my own project. You tell your old company and then that spreads in terms of just compounding marketing and kind of organic looks and engagement. Um, so I definitely want to put this, bookmark this and try to get in this discord. I really like the art and then the team. I can see if they execute, this would be really huge. Uh, the second collection is called Grumbies. And the reason why I'm really, we're really bullish on this is because the team behind it is Metaseed Labs. Metaseed Labs, if you look at their pedigree, they have been a part of projects. Uh, Letters by Vinnie Hagar, three Ethereum, about $12,000 USD in fiat at the time of this recording. Also launched Alien Friends, let's call it, you know, $9,000 and change USD fiat by Mason Crow. And they also worked on like Sunny's, which was a really good project that minted out. And then I think Lemonade, but if you look at the actual team and pedigree, right? Um, NFT dev, he's been on this. And if you look at their actual kind of following, 2792, 2792 a really good marquee kind of um, projects that these people have been on. And if they're able to execute, I mean, I really like the art. Art looks really cool. It's just certainly different. I could definitely see if this was like a profile picture, uh, people would definitely rock that. I like the lines, I like the contrast on this and like the earthy tones. Um, and if you're trying to bend for this, I mean, I'd highly encourage you to reach out to the mods, introduce yourself, tell them that you like it, kind of network in the actual space, um, get some more feedback. And, and it also helps you just with like, just your own pedigree and your own resume as you rock your own profile picture and as you network in the space. So this has no discord out yet. Put your notifications on with this. If this team executes, this is gonna be awesome and huge. And then the third project that we'll cover here is called Atune, uh, pardon me, um, Antunes World. Antunes World is a really short collection. And for the previous two collections, we have no idea what the collection size is. We do know that this is gonna be 250. So Supply Shock and the team was actually featured on like the Three Landers AMA. AMA is like a town hall that they had. And I really like the vibe. And if you look at the art here, I mean, I really like it. Looks super cool, really friendly. Um, aside from the last picture, but like there's definitely a metaverse play in here. Um, and then if you look at the actual artwork, I really like it. And if you're able to get into this, I mean, this looks pretty solid. It already has 15,000 followers and I believe the, their Twitter handle was just created. And then once again, kind of risk, right? Execution, uh, we have no idea what the roadmap or utility is. These are all really early projects. So if you're watching this video, like definitely some awesome alpha here. The fourth collection is called Renga. Now this is a project that is a second collection 
if you were able to procure Art of Seasons, this a couple weeks ago was like at a 0.1 floor price. This just went on a 5X run or let's call it 4X run. And if you're able to get this, it is confirmed that you'll have whitelist for their second collection called Ringa. And this is their actual trailer here. I get like lo-fi vibes. And this really tight like skull and there is definitely a theme right now when huge blue chips run there are other projects and you can speculate that other investors want to try to catch like the next Suzuki or just be a part of that meta or maybe that these projects are, are marketing to that actual kind of uh, consumer as well or investor so these are all projects that hit all, all of our radar there's definitely a lot of risk with this right now in terms of like execution. We have no idea what the collection size is, the utility, but these are all things that we got in our radar and our team's been doing in research on that if these projects are able to execute, you get in early, you secure your bag on whitelist, we think these are gonna be awesome short-term or long-term plays. So kind of in recap right now, uh, the NFT land is definitely ready for a bull market. Um, you know based off of where the technology is going, more Web2 companies going in, dropping collections, make sure you're not overexposed, get these actual collections on your radar, try to get in the Discord, say what's up. If there's any comments, um, feel free to kind of comment down in the video section below. I'm gonna drop all the links in the video description, but if any of this was helpful or of value to you, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week as well. Feel free to join our Discord if you have any questions. Hope you have a great weekend, and thanks for watching.